Hi there, and today we're going to talk about preparation for surgery. Welcome back. I just talked to my thoracic surgeon and uh, finalized my date for surgery. So it's coming up. I'm a week away. And uh, the questions I had a ton of them to ask is like the team, the amount of surgeries that the you know surgeon performed. But I also got a new hairdo and got things set and ready for my house, the preparation. So to simplify my recovery, I wanted to basically get the right things going. So what I did is I installed a bidet. Kind of crazy enough, but it kind of helps in aiding when you have to use the restroom. I uh, have a whole bunch of things to kind of set up. It is the bed, the, the positioning, the chairs to sit in to put on your clothes. You know, aids that are gonna make it a little easier for you so when you get out of that surgery and that recovery period at home will not be uh, too challenging. So yeah, so I got a new hairdo, I did that. These are things I'm thinking that are gonna be easier for me so I don't have to like do some crazy maintenance every single day because I think once they open up my chest, it's gonna be hard for me to brush my hair and do all this type of things. So I'll let it grow back and it'll take a couple months. So. The doctor today, I asked him just, uh, you know, about the team and about, you know, uh, what are the main parts of the surgery? What are the things that are gonna be the weakest link afterwards? And how frequent do I have to go back and get tested? So every year he recommended me getting an echocardiogram every year. And then uh, the first year they're gonna do a CAT scan and look at my body and make sure that everything is working appropriately. And then following after that, every five years. So with a CAT scan with the contrast. But I actually asked a question, well, what about the radiation? Could we do something different like an MRI? And the doctor said, that'd be perfectly fine. And I go, are those just as accurate and just as good? And he confirmed, yes, they are. So maybe like, instead of a you know CAT scan with the contrast, you could do an MRI. It would present with less radiation. So anyway, so I asked, uh, you know, now that I have my one issue, which is the aorta, what about other issues? And is this gonna be like a chronic thing? And basically uh, he did say, yes, that you know, you're know you gonna need other operations down the road. But hopefully with technology getting better, that it won't be as invasive. So that means you know uh, my valve might have to get replaced down the road. And in doing that, maybe the possibility is to go through the groin. But if you do that, that's only gonna last another following 10 years. So you might have to have another followed surgery. I also have an aortic root that is enlarged. And that root is not surgery like needed as of yet. So I think 4.5 is surgery needed. Mine's smaller, but it's something to observe. I asked the doctor, well, what about my lifestyle? I have two young kids and a, a little baby girl on the way. Uh, can I do all those normal things? And the doctor said, yes. He goes, the most of the stuff you, you could do is for toning purposes. So like he doesn't recommend push-ups and lifting weights and doing those things. Like, well, no, let me get back to that. Actually, he said you can lift weights, but just try not to do bench press. And I said, what about, what about cables? If you go to the gym and you do cables, is cables okay? And he said again, like isometric type of stuff, that right there is is creating tension on your thoracic area. Um, and that is also something that's probably not recommended. And I'm like, okay, well, how do you tone your chest? You know, and you know, he was just saying like light weights and doing things along those lines. Um, also like swimming and the cardio is okay. So being that I have young kids, I could still do all the sports and hanging out and going on bike rides and doing things that are kind of like, things that could actually help keep me toned and healthy. So uh, he did say I can go back to swimming in about eight weeks after surgery, that's awesome. He goes, it's gonna be very uncomfortable at first because your chest is still healing, your sternum, but uh, in time, it'll actually get back to being good. 
So I also asked, well, what about like a vacation in three months? So my wife planned a vacation for us to, to travel to Hawaii. And uh, he said, that'd be perfectly fine. You could do those things. So that being said, um, the questions I asked seemed like they were valid and validated. Like, so I think he kind of uh, answered them very accurately. So I feel a little more confident, even though this is something that is a life-changing event and it's a life-changing event for everybody that goes through this. So again, I'm here with you as an advocate and I want you guys to be your best advocate. So thanks for tuning in for like, you know, basically what I'm doing to prepare and um, I'll talk to you all soon. Messages below and thanks for uh, following me.